Hi guys, it's Matty, and today I'm going to be showing you how to slow down a clip in uh, After Effects using the Twixter plugin. So you want to head over into After Effects, you want to go to File, Import, and you want to choose your video. So I'm going to choose a video of me and my bike, and uh, it's been filmed in 60 frames per second, because uh, if it's any lower than that, it kind of starts to go a bit blurry. So I would advise minimum 60 frames per second. So you can just scrub through your video footage. Alright, depending on how slow you want it, you want to make the video a composition longer. So you want to right click in composition, composition settings, and uh, my video now is 7 seconds long, but I'm going to change that to 30 seconds. And uh, click OK. And then right click on your video in the timeline, time, enable timer mapping, and then there's a blue bar here, and you want to go to the end of that blue bar until the two little arrows come up, click and just drag, drag along and that extends the clip. Alright, so now you want to go to the point in your video where you want the video to slow. So I'm going to go just where I pop off, about here. Alright, then you want to type in, in FX and Presets, you want to type in Twixter. Double click on that you want to change the input frame rate to whatever it is mine's 59.94 then change the motion sensitivity to 100 and then the little stopwatch next to speed you want to click that and then press U twice alright uh, so now you want to go to next frame change the speed to 2 or however slow you want it but I think 2 is like it's not too slow and it's not too fast. You want to drag your video to where you would like it to stop. So I'm going to choose to stop around here. You want to click the little diamond here to add a keyframe. And then go to next frame. And then change the speed back to 100. Alright. Then to smooth it all out, you want to go to RAM preview up here. Click that. And then here we go. So you should have Twixter in now. Boom. There you go. Twixter. Alright, um after this I'm gonna show you how to actually render it. Alright, so you want to go to composition, add to render queue. Uh the render settings, you can change these but I like to leave them the same. You want to click use composition's frame rate. Then you go to uh, out on the output module, click on lossless. I like to use uh, the QuickTime format because it's got quite a small file. Um, go to format options and codec H.264. Click OK, and then output. I like to output it to the desktop because it's easy. And save, and then click render. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you have any problems, just comment or leave a video response, and I will get back to you. And uh, after this, I'll leave the, like, rendered video so you can have a look. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.